It's my Shroud of Turin. What about that in marker art? There's another one. Oh man, you're just burning, burning, burning. Your feet burn, your hands burn, your ears burn. So Sjogren's, you've never heard of it. I never had either until fairly recently. And um, if they tell you men don't get it, that's because men don't know to bring it up. They don't, you know, we're not our bodies enough to realize that your eyes should not feel like someone's been squirting habanero sauce into them and that your tongue shouldn't feel like it's been wrapped in a turpentine rag, you know. Oh, I could go on, but you know, there, there's, uh, that's not even the worst of it. And Sjogren's disease uh, kills your salivary glands. Uh, any gland that produces moisture and distributes it in your body gets scarred up and doesn't function right. You know, and you're in, in that's how you feel on the inside. That's what you're projecting. So I, these, these kind of, Gobliny things came up, and I look at them now. But I just thought they were me being kind of, you know, half-assed and too tired to do anything very involved. And um, of course, I think most creative people, if something comes really easily to you, you didn't have to think about it. You just assume that you're slacking, right? And that's usually the best stuff. The, the stuff you feel is like so derivative, you didn't even think about it. But as time went on, the flare just kind of kept building and building, and uh, it manifested as narcolepsy, as uh, depression, as ADHD. I mean, all of which are real things, That because having this diagnosis perhaps is going to make my, the rest of my life a lot better than the, everything before it has been. Because your sense of your capabilities shift from day to day. So I'd really like to tell you, though, about how I came into this art thing. Well, I was in a relationship that broke up. And with an autoimmune disease, you cannot separate your mental, emotional, psycho-spiritual well-being from your physical trauma when it's activated, if it hasn't been really dealt with, and even the, the, the just sort of remnants of one, the husks of a trauma can really be, they can, they can just come back to life like the husk of a cactus that after a rain, the first rain. And I was overcome by a malaise that was not unfamiliar to me, but it hit, it hit me with an impact that I hadn't experienced before. It affected not just my speech, but my ability to just keep my thoughts in a you know one zip code. I could no longer write, which is how I made my living. The most alarming thing of all is that I just couldn't get anything going on with music. I just had lost it as I lost my taste for food. I was just hollowed out. And I don't think it's possible to say where one aspect of this began and another ended. So I go down to the art store and there's a lady named Carol. And I just basically started sobbing and jabbering incoherently. And she sent me out the door with some Pentel um oil pastels and a pad and you know, whatever else. Ta so I was taken up with art for a good couple of years. I, I could not write. I could not speak very fluidly. It was as if I had a stroke, I think. And this this is the whole point of art, What why we do it. It's not to show other people. It's not to enrich the culture. We're repairing not only our own nervous system, um, when we're making art, we're repairing the nervous system. So it wasn't just that I was drawing these, making these pictures of how I felt without knowing it. I was in the bardo, that in-between state that uh, it's the in-between, you know, birth and death. But there's, you don't have to be physically dead to be in that it's dreamlike state of, you know, no orientation. And, um, you know, we, we're, you may be well, one may be, someone may well be called 
to creativity out of vainglory and wanting to be praised certainly was my, you know, <laughs> that was my whole jam with it for a lot of my life. But um, at a certain point, your your hunger for that external validation gets converted into a recognition that you're actually plugged into something that is, uh, it's a real grid and you can plug into that grid and do something that is uniquely your own with it. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. So of the collective consciousness too. So that's a little general talk about